are even weirder. Like Roachling <laughs> test maps, uh, there's something. There are no Roachlings in there, or something else has changed. Or I don't know. <laughs> there's a, there's a, this is the best one. There's an Espo December's Calm test tester. <laughs> 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 okay, in the top right corner we have Buckfast playing Protoss again. He's down 1-0. Let's do this. Let's do like a best of a best of three here. We have the Red Bandit. Oh, we need to switch. Can we do? That? Oh, I'm so awesome. And like that, yes, the Red Bandit is up 1-0. And, and in the bottom left corner we have the Red Bandit. Is uh, the Red Bandit is spelled with 11 L's, small L's after it. So. Are these the 11 L's? Can you count this far? Because if yes, yeah, I'm actually impressed. I barely, but I, 11 is an estimation. It's about 11. It might be 10 and a half. Huh. We're gonna see a very similar build from the red band. I no, no. Yes, we are. 10-10 this time. The gas was a little bit late. Perhaps last game it was a little bit early. <laughs> Whoa, mind games. That's that's so deep. <laughs> That is incredible deep. We're gonna have a scum from Buckfast, and he's gonna go for a gateway first, which is interesting. So we're gonna have some early pressure versus early pressure, which yep. means that we won't see a um, cannon rush this time. I don't think I've ever seen a cannon rush in Starbow in like three months that has been successful. Yeah, a cannon rush is really, really bad against so uh, First yeah. of all, spine crawlers outrange cannons, but this was also the case in Boudoir. Second of all, you can transfuse these spine crawlers, you can uh, micro them away, you can do so many things with them that's compared to Brute War. It's no also, point. Yeah, and they're also so strong. And they're cheaper the... and they produce faster. Yeah, and, and Photon Cannons are weaker. So we're gonna have 100 gas now for the Red Band. He's not gonna spend it on Zergling speed just yet. He wants to get a Queen first, he wants to get a lot of Zerglings and he's getting speed now. He's actually gonna commit to some early pressure here. And he saw that. Why does he all of a sudden commit? Except he might be map hacking, but um, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding, of course. Um, he he did this uh, last game too. He won six circlings, um, and usually when when both Protoss and Zerg decide to go aggressive, usually this favors Zerg a little bit, and then yeah. the Protoss has to be defensive. <laughs> Indeed, Zerg is the most aggressive race if they choose to be so. Um, and we got a couple of zealots. I don't know if there's a gap here at all. I think he will up there's completely. No, there's but no gap, but that's no problem. He can mine out some minerals. Yeah, minerals are very good on that map. Same on um, Rider of Valkyries. No, same on uh, that map I made, which didn't get into the top three, so we're probably never going to see it again. Uh, Fern Valley. Yeah, this map, which Fern Valley would have been better than the other map, which I don't like. Circle of Life? No, Noah's Ark. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You didn't like Noah's Ark. I know. I talked to Superhuman who made Noah's Ark, and he said he was going to change it up a little bit before we we go out. The only reason we haven't changed the map pool yet is because Izeel is brushing up Jagged Star, which also won because Jagged Star's aesthetics were quite uh, were quite bad. On aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, on an aesthetically aesthetics. So he's he's working on that. I see those. Oh whoa, he's uh, going to focus on the fortress. Oh, and it goes really? so fast that attack speed from Zerglings and also that attack speed from Fulton Cannons, like two machine guns going at it. But he's gonna get the cannon, he's gonna get the forge, but he no. loses a lot of Zerglings. Oh, he should have just run by that. Yeah. So he actually lost quite a bit. In the meantime, he got this. a lot of zealots doing a lot of damage here. Wow, this is a crazy game already from the start. He will kill these Zerglings off eventually. Ah, yes. TRB micro stem. So nice. No, he doesn't micro. Uh, gets away with one HP. <laughs> Yeah, he, he will. The question is if Buckfast will be able to force a cancel or not. I don't think so. No, well, he won't. He might be able to kill it, but he won't be able to force a cancel because it's too late. But I don't think he'll kill it either. But I might be completely wrong. It will, be, yeah, it will be really close. I think he sh might be able to kill it if he just would focus now. But if the spine crawler is placed down now, it's going to be even closer. Oh, but he's gonna circumvent the spine crawler, but there's so many Zerglings there. Eight more seconds incoming, they have speed, this is going to be very difficult for yeah, to do. Yeah, I think it might be the best choice to just recall now. More gateways incoming and a cyber core for Buckfast. Yeah, to recall, 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 recall. He's just going to micro like a man and not recall like a wimp. Uh, <laughs> you mean hide in this little tiny spot there? <laughs> He's going to hide in the corner like a man. 
<laughs> and Lucy Zealot, like a man. And then die like a zealot soldier from Ire or something. Zealots, um, zealots actually don't die. That's true. Their soul goes into Dragoon. Excellent. Excellent knowledge of Stam. I craft. I'm so, such such knowledge. Wow. Uh, so now he's very well defended versus this uh, attack from the from the zealot's brain. Oh, I love the follow. Okay, that was very headache. Uh, inducing, uh, observing from me, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, we have a Spire incoming, this will be very difficult for Buckfast to deal with. Buckfast is really falling behind in tech, I feel. Uh, he's going to stag it. Oh, saved by the bell. No, I don't think so. Oh, really? I think I think if the Spire go comes first, then f before the stag. <laughs> first, sir. First, <laughs> start. <laughs> me English, very good. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, if it, if if the spire first or first or corsairs, it might be difficult. Yeah, I can I can see that. Uh, although if uh, if corsairs first or star uh, mutus or uh, or if mutus seconders corsairs, then he should be fine. He should get uh, twilight council and templars and stuff like this. All this good protos or power ball stuff. This should really he's, help. He's getting all the he's getting all the oh proto, no. OP proto stuff, yeah. He goes for sentinels. That's oh, really what? bad. Oh yeah, that's actually like sentinels are good earlier, but this is too late for sentinels, I think. And, I mean, and he, it might be useful defensively if he just put just produce immediately uh, causes afterwards, because then he can use wards defensively. But other than that, mm, there's no point in getting the sentinels now. We should call them null wards. Like they're like, you know, like warts. Like the, is that a word? Wart. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Wart. Like, like sometimes you get these nasty things that grow under your feet. Maybe. Yeah, uh, you should focus the hatchery <laughs> <laughs> simply instead of the spine crawler. Oh, that's true. He could. And he no kill the. Okay, now you can kill the spine crawler. Now he's gonna. Fo he's he's not very focused at all. In the meantime, mutalisks. Gonna do damage, and now he's okay. First, Corsair is out. What happened to the Sentinel? Is that still out there somewhere? No, it's already dead. So he's one Corsair, but he has to be super careful. Oh, Scourge is no, incoming! No, 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 he no, needs no. to fly over cannons. Those Scourges are staying very close to the Stargate, though. So it's, oh, the Scourges should go right on top of the Stargate to kill that. Oh, they didn't miss an opportunity there. But this is gonna be very tough for Bookfest to hold. He has to be so careful versus these. Oh, nice micro there. Oh, this is not a phoenix. This is not something you can just auto. This actually requires micro, not just moving a unit around a certain range. <laughs> Can't be nice. What, oh, what are you? no, he needs the micro. Okay, this is one corsair. Nice overcharge there. Yeah, he has two corsairs out. He Chronobus. continues. He produces stalkers. I think he will be fine. But that was just because uh, TRV took some losses with these zealots. Oh, these corsairs are a little bit far on the map now. He wants to be a little. Like he can start move out when he has a critical amount on them, but now he has to no, be no, no, super no, no, no. careful. Oh, oh, oh. He needs to go he back. He has to be defensive. Feel much more defensive. Much more defensive. Okay, this is good. This is this is more defensive. He needs to kill the scourges. Oh, he gets in with another. Ah, oh, he loses so many corsairs, and ah, oh, I think the red bandit did it. So difficult to micro those corsairs as a mutilist, but if he yes, does well. Yes, yes, uh, dark templars. Yes, more than two dark templars, I believe. Kind of oh yeah. yes, I was like, aren't they it's gonna not, go out? But they it's not awesome. over yet. No, but not it's but Buckfast is in a very difficult position. It looks grim, and he's actually gonna boost. go in and kill those cannons. Chrono and he has Chrono boost. Why isn't he doing it? There we go. And here comes so many scourges, but there's an Archon. He can micro against the Archon, but it's very hard. Good Archon. hit there from the Archon. I feel like I'm, I'm commenting soccer. That was a really good hit from the Archon. He's passing, passing the damage over to the Stalkers. The Stalkers sending to the Fulton Cannons and killing a Mutalisk. Do, do you actually watch soccer? No. How do you want to know if you cast if they cast like this? Well, I have watched soccer in the past. I used to, I used to have like a favorite team to cheer on and everything like that. But right now, I don't care about people running around chasing a ball anymore. Not when we have Starbo, man. That's the right attitude. It is the right uh, <laughs> attitude. I, I really, I really, um, if anyone is German here, I don't like that German, that's one of the sporting 
<laughs> Did you just insult every German that is potentially on the street? No, oh. I just insulted uh, the team. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like, no, I didn't insult Germans, I insulted their president, not the Germans themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always, always good. So, <sighs> he has the, he has, or the Bockfuss has finally stabilized against these mutuals. And TRB has to be careful, he doesn't want to commit now with these mutuals, because no. Bockfuss right now has, he has the Archon, he has uh, cans in place, he has DTs, he has High Templars, everything that just is really good for the speedless. And he should just drone up and take another base instead. Also, because right now it's two base against two base, oh, and Bugfest is a better army. He's going for high though. It's, the Red Band is the only guy I know that goes for high on two base. Oh, he needs to mine out this. Oh, it's a good thing he had a hatchery close by, so it doesn't take so long to mine it out. How many minerals does he have there? Isn't Only 16. Yeah, Only but it 16. took like, it took like three drips. That was really weird. He's gonna start oh. chasing down the mutalisks. Oh, blink, 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 go, 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 blink, no. You know what would be interesting? If we would do the opposite of the gold minerals. <laughs> like bases which, hmm. where you mine less minerals. <laughs> that is actually, they're like easier to take, but you mine less from them. That's actually very interesting. Everything in everything in Starboy is the other way around. Like the, the units does less damage versus certain units, not more. And uh, hmm. I just I just had the thought about it. It's an interesting idea, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just very quiet for a second. There we have even he's keeping make he's keeping making mutalisks. He keeps making mutalisks. He wants to get a greater spray. Probably wants to get devourers out. And uh, and he wants to. Uh, um, he wants to. Um, man, there's so many mutalists. What I what's interesting about this mutalist and all these scourge numbers? No, there are only one scourge. <laughs> all these scourges is that he's effectively making sure that his opponent really can't make any corsairs for a very long time. Wow, this is doing a lot of damage. This is such an abusive position for the mutalist to do damage into. Yep. Oh, finally getting range for dragoons. That's right. You don't really get that that early versus versus Zerg. Uh, Zerg. So Zerg uh, is going mainly for Zerglings and mutalists right now. He will have a few guardians in place soon to arrest his natural. Uh, Buckfast is killing his dad though. That's kind of unfortunate. It is, and Buckfast is gonna try and move in with this push. It's, the red band is so good at defending. Man, he's such a defensive player. And uh, I don't know if he can break this. I don't think he can. I don't think he should, but it's gonna be so hard to do anything with these guardians. You shouldn't even try to engage this bug fast. Like it as soon as I glance finishes well, with the red bandit will just destroy him. Two high templars with full energy though. He's gonna lose like one dragoon now, but he might pick off this hatchery and killing a macro hatch now is actually quite important. Just because there's so little basis for the red bandit, but he's gonna lose his natural. Oh, and he will lose his third place unless there will be a really great storm. Oh, well, that is a really great storm! Wow, <laughs> your prediction came true, man. Whoa, and these guardians will actually kill. Well, the mutual is picked off, of course, and the guardians will kill the natural hmm. base. This is actually closer than I thought. This is not over yet. He's gonna recall some units home. I guess this is for defensive purposes, but that's so bad because they're just off for the picking now. Okay, that is a nice storm. That's a uh, decent storm. Okay, that was not a very good storm. He needs to get the Archon out, though. If you can get the Archon out, you should be fine. Sending out a Dark Templar, I like that. Um, he can deny that he shouldn't try to attack with the Dark T Templar, but he can deny the base for a long time. But the natural is gonna go down for Buckfast. That's very unfortunate. Well, it isn't a huge loss. Because oh, he nice still storm. has the third base, because he still has the third base where right now trillions cracklings come in. Yeah, does he have the third base? Does he have another storm? He has another storm, storm, storm please! Storm. Yes! Nice storm. Very good storm, but it's only got half of those circlings. No, actually getting a lot more circlings too now. With cracklings kill down cannons so fast, it's incredible. But he's gonna save this base though, he is. And the red band is might. Yeah, he's gonna save this, his own base as well. Yeah, oh. the T trying to defend, uh, to deny this third base, but I don't think he will do it. <laughs> I, I think he might. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, the Corsairs should be able to clear this up now. Corsairs actually do quite good versus Guardians because they're armored. I considered they are not designed to kill them. They are actually decent. Yeah. More Cracklings. It's gonna have to defend this area so well. Okay, stabilizing, but we got the Ramid... The red, the red, the 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 red, the red, the little double expanding. Um, if you can understand that sentence. This red bandit is a player which simply, I, I don't know. He he just has this weird style on being for twenty minutes only on twenty probes. Drones. <laughs> yes, that's true, and he just makes it happen. He stays on he, two base with very low economy, and he just wins. Like he's really, really aggressive and takes like doesn't produce a lot of drones. He just continues all game long only to make units. It's really weird. See, I, I also stay on 28 drones, but I try to expand everywhere at the same time, which is horrible. Oh, we're gonna have a war present flying right into Scourges. Is he gonna get some Dark Templars out for before he dies? No, he needs to get him out. He needs to get him out. He needs to get him out. Ooh, they both get out. Okay. Nice. In the meantime, there's going to be a, an attack at the third base, but they are already spine crawlers and vultures get place. I, I, what's very interesting about these Dark Templars, though, is that he, you know, he attacked. He saw the War Prism die without dropping anything, right? So it looked like he'd successfully killed. Oh, it. it's natural. Yes. Jugglings killing stuff. Jugglings, jugglings killing. Uh, and yeah, the jugglings are doing a really good job. In the meantime. Uh, Buckfast is making sure the Red Bandit can't take too many bases. Like, he's been able to take one more base, he can't really do too much about that right now. Uh, and this is are out. Oh, nice Dark Templars here. They are gonna do so much damage. I think the Red Bandit is just a little bit too cautious because he has the numbers to take this army head on. If you look at the, at the uh, numbers of Buckfast army, it's very, very low. This was a very small, such a good force only to kill bases which could have taken out easily yeah I think he wants to support it with more with more zerglings though he doesn't have too many zerglings he's got scourges all over the place now he's a little bit afraid of, uh, of drop and I liked how Buckfast preemptively recalled a lot of his army back so they were actually off of cooldown before the red bandit attacked and I think that is that is a, I, I, I like that way of I think that's okay with the rift that you can like if you if you have like an observer over at his place and he's like, oh he's gonna go for counter attack over here, I should rift home my army now so they're prepared for when he comes, then I think that's okay. It's not like a panic rift home, oh he's there, it's more like a a pre planned and pre prepared thing. Yeah. It's uh, it's more uh, how do you say you have to see it coming to be yeah. prepared for it. And yes. that's alright. Yeah. If you see it coming and you have the force to prepare for it, then that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't become broken the same way that it could be. This is really weird. Anyway, I'm just... Um, I just got distracted by the map there a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's really weird, and I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, there's a doodad that like comes out of another doodad, and I, I know that's like not the way they, it was intended, but it kind of it looks normal if you don't know about it, but when you say know about it, it looks really weird, but whatever, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to spend too much more time on that. I just wish he had sent a Dark Templar to the bottom middle there. He could have tried to snap off that one base from the Red Bandit. But he's sticking the Dark Templar on the side there instead. It, um, Buckfuzz is adding uh, Reavers to his composition. He's researching Gravity Drive for his four prisms. I really hope he gets the Reaver damage upgrade as well. Maybe he already has. See, no, he does not. That is so important versus ultralist late game. It goes from 80 damage it's to 120 in damage. Okay, yeah, it's 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 queued up. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, here we go. Good. Reavers are a really, really great unit. It is. They are. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> but the red but, bandit but has. But in a good way. The red bandit has a fairly small army compared to his opponent. I feel. Uh, I don't know, but like. Yes, Ultraists are strong, but I think he had a small army before. Now it's it's getting bigger. Man, my commentary today is so good. He he had a small army before, but after making more units, the army got bigger. <laughs>
Oh, but the Red Baron has so many scourges, so Buckfast has to be really careful oh, with the War Prism. If he loses the War Prism with those two Reavers in it, it's pretty much game over, man. That's 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 huge. Reavers just deal so much damage to this army. Soon they will deal even more. Oh, nice storm there. Very nice storm and nice defense here from Buckfast. And the Reavers come in and help. And there's no way this base is gonna go down. That Ultralisk almost dead. But not completely. Nice surround here from Buckfast. And at the same time, Dark Templar doing a lot of damage to this base. He didn't do anything with the bottom base though. But the Red Band is keeping his bases alive, but he's having a hard time actually getting some, some value out of them because of the constant harassment from Buckfast. Oh wow. The, the, I didn't even notice that on top. There's so much going on there. I can't talk about all this stuff. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about any of it. <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> so, the war prison, where did it go? Okay, so it's staying with the army. I was, it looked like it was going to go and harass for a second Ooh, there. But... For this next big engagement, plus my... Yeah, there's thingy. 10 seconds left. Ten se oh, Scourges! Uh, careful! Scourges are going to go! No! Oh, is this the last of the Reavers? Well, there's nice. another Reaver there, suddenly. Wow. That's just been chilling with the army. That thing takes for... No, it's just going to hide in the corner. Oh, you can go all the way in there. I need, I need to fix that. that does that's not look good. that's so cool. <laughs> like I just see a hydra force go going across the map, but there's a river hidden. I don't know if they do that. Like <laughs> just <laughs> killing everything. It's like it's like it's like the river is on a timeout, going in the corner, like it's a little chart. Like just go in the corner, river. You don't deserve to be in the army. Like okay, I'll just hide in here. Poor river. So, uh, the Ultra Ling army is gonna go over to kill on a, a possible expansion here, but it's not there. Uh oh. It's an optical Big solution. <laughs> Big counterattack, but there's a Reaver and a High Templar. The High Templar doesn't have enough energy for a storm, and the Reaver's gonna get surrounded. Does a lot of damage. Oh, oh gets picked up. Picks up. Needs to drop it behind cast. Oh, Warps and Archon in the choke. That's crazy good defensive play from Bugfast there. Yeah, you wanna head. It. Get out of there. Get out. Ultra oh. This watch. Uh, this was a really, really effective design. That uh, was like fans. pimpest play like ever. That was really good. This match has proven match point is actually a really good map for usually a highly entertaining game. Match point and um, circuit breaker usually goes makes really entertaining games. I hate circuit breaker. <laughs> you hate all the good maps. Why do you Why do you hate all the good maps, Clay? <laughs> Nah, I don't hate so Why do you hate no, Starbo maps? Not one of my <laughs> Stop hating Starbo. Oh wow, he's going to surround see you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever saw. Oh, in the meantime, Reaver drop. No, you don't want a Reaver drop there. With a Storm drop there would be better. You you know what happened there actually was that the Reaver exploded and took all the Zerklings with him. Oh, exploding Reaver! Exploding Reaver! Speaking of exploding river, bang! A lot of damage on those. Oh, and this time these circlings at Ultras are going to get it's in. Trying there. again, and this time, yes, it's working a lot more. Oh, we got a high Templar incoming, and it's just going to die. Buckfast needs to go home with his entire army to defend versus this, or he's going to lose his natural yet again. Man, Ultralisks are so annoying. In the meantime, though, he's moving up with a really weird force. It's just mostly dragoons to kill his base, and Zerglings might just defend this really easily. No, he's deciding to counter attack with the Zerklings and start bottom left. Ooh. And there uh, uh, is a DT. There's so much going on there. Yeah, I'm trying to like observe like... a little bit here, a little bit there. It's like, okay, so we got, uh, we got Zerklings and Ultralisks coming in there. We have Ultralisks and Zerklings in the main base. We have this push going over here. The DT has died. This base, I think it's it's gonna. I don't think the base is gonna go down. It's definitely gonna lose the Photon Cannons. And he's finally cleaning up his Ultralisks eventually. No, not really. Okay, yeah, he's gonna clean it up now. Wow, did he do any damage here? No, Zerglings and Ultras cleaning up the Dragoons. There's actually two Dragoons left. Oh, wow, Dragoons takes forever to kill Zerglings. Ah, oh, Zerglings, they're gonna kill these Dragoons easy peasy now. Okay, okay. so we stabilized a little bit. Buckfast will lose his base on the bottom, I believe. He will, and he always down to 13 probes. That's actually the biggest problem with Buckfast. He doesn't have any probes left. And he's making new probes now. He should take. Uh, he should learn something from Balthasar, man. He makes like 101 probes in his games. Yeah, did you notice this too in this game? <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> like I was like, oh wow, he has two. <laughs> he has 100 probes, and his opponent has already killed 200 probes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they made so many probes that game was crazy. He made like 400 and 
50 probes almost to get it that, though, that whole game. Um, I should breathe once in a while. I was trying to finish a sentence without inhaling, and that's a bad idea. So, I don't think Buckfast wants to make any more probes. I think he just wants to go for a big old push and just try to kill his opponent. But if they go for I a base... Don't think, I don't think this can work. I think he has to play defensive, because the Red Bandit is playing so... Oh, uh, poor Reaver. Ah, oh, Reaver, Reaver, Reaver. Oh, wow, that was a horrible shot. They're just going to ignore the Reaver. We don't care. I think it's... I think it's the Reaver. It's, oh, he's gonna get some. With this. Yeah, he's gonna have some some buddies come back to help him. But yeah, Buckfast has so little income right now. If you look at the income tab, it says so little up there. And the Red Bandit is doing just fine in income wise. Yeah, he has a decent amount of drones. So I think this much is splash damage. Oh, he, did he lose it? Even though he picked it up with the War Prism. I think he he didn't have any. Uh, he didn't have more than fifty drones in any other game. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I'm so slow today talking. <laughs> <laughs> you like, are. You're so quiet. You're so quiet. Uh, you're like, oh, what's he going to try to say? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so I think, oh, wow. that I was going to say, I think the Red Bandit at any time can just run by with a couple with a bunch of Zerglings and kill the main base of Buckfast. But look at that defense. I don't think he can. Three Zalots and two, the two Reavers can like hold off an infinite. 25 kills on that one Reaver. That's crazy. I'm just gonna deny. You know how you deny? Uh oh, Vault Prism, Vault Prism. Ah, go away, go away, go away, go away. No, he turns around with the Scourges. You blaze the Oh, now he actually. Wow, that's a very, very brave War Prism. Like, okay, let's turn around. It's time to go again. Let's drive into the. Oh, oh, Scourges, Scourges. He's gonna. Don't take the Zergling. It's so funny. It's like. It's like. The Vault Prism is so smart, one, but the Reaver is just dumb. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious how he uses Reavers to pick up drones, like, one at a time, to deny expansions like he would do with, like, a Dark Templar. Oh okay. no, he's going to lose his probes again. He is. And see, this base, it's not that bad that he loses the base, but it's the probes that's the problem. Because now he doesn't have anything to saturate this next base, because he only has 54 minerals! Now he has a couple of probes, though, but still, this is... Not very good, looking very good for Buckfast. This is not very good looking. <laughs> yeah, Buckfast. This is this is really nice of Buckfast. I was like, um, well, he is moving his army in any way <laughs> to defend this, but I I think it's actually some correct decision. To yeah, he should just stay guy. behind, and and he has two points to defense now. He has his main base, and he has this expansion. Yeah, and he's moving a away from huge he does army going almost. there. Very big. On the bottom. Such size of army. He will. He will be able to reinforce this because there's a war prism incoming. But will it be enough? That's a big question. Especially since there's from the bottom now. Yeah, this feels yeah. like the end of last game. <laughs> More reavers. Reinforcements have arrived, but it doesn't really help much. Oh, he's micro <gasps> archons. Oh, great reaver shot still. That was really exciting. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, scourges! Oh, he loses the reaver in the scourge. That's unfortunate. GG, well he played. And the red bandit takes it to the <laughs> oh in a best of three series. We didn't even ex 